All right, in this video, we're gonna try to attempt to make a fire piston. Now, how this works is that we got to drill out the center, and then at the top, we're gonna have an ORB fitting. And the ORB fitting, the reason why I'm using that because it has a seal because we need to have compression inside, inside because the piston that we're gonna machine is gonna have an O-ring as well. And basically what this fire piston does, if you're out hiking or you're out camping or something and your matches are wet, you could put some char cloth on the top of the piston and then slam it down on the ground and the compression will be enough to ignite the char cloth and hopefully get a fire started for you. So let's attempt to make this. I seen some on YouTube, this is where I got the idea from. So I'm gonna to try to attempt to make one myself out of some materials I got in the garage. Let's have a look at the materials and see where I'm gonna go with this. Well, the materials we got to look at are steel, aluminum, and brass. I really like this brass and it's pretty expensive and I'd have to machine a crap load of it down. So I think we're gonna use the cylinder of steel and make the piston out of aluminum because it's smaller so we have less machining to do so I think that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna start off by facing both ends of this up so we can get going We got set up in the lathe and one of the first things we're going to do is start turning it down and then flip it over and start turning it down and cut it down to the size that we need to work with to the basics first. machine I kind of like the profile where it's going now um, we're gonna taper this end off and I think we're gonna taper this end and I'm not sure I think this end will be the end where I have the ORB fitting so we're gonna have to drill a hole through there uh, tap it uh, make sure that fits and then once we get that part done we can flip it around start working on the back side drill the hole uh, actually no we won't drill the hole because we'll make the piston first and then accommodate it for the hole so I'm thinking probably like a 3 8 or something Well, it's a little bit on the tight side, but I think we're gonna make it work. I just got a punch in there, kind of jam. That way I can lock the chuck while I can spin my tap, but can't get too crazy because you don't want to bind it too much and snap it off. Hopefully you can see. I think I got enough thread cut there. Let's just see if I can screw that in. Perfect. I think I got my groove right where I need it to be right now. Well, I got the ORB fitting in there to go, but I don't really like it being hexed like that, so I think I'm going to try to machine it down smooth and see what happens. So we're on stage two now. This piece is all done. For the most part, I got my cap in there. It's going to relieve the pressure so you can slide the piston out or tighten it up so you can have compression to ignite. Now, I'm not sure I'm going to do with this piece. We're probably going to have to cut that off or so. But this is what we're going to make the piston out of aluminum. So we're going to throw this in the lathe now and start machining it down. I need it to be 9 16 So let's see what happens.